Right now, the Duval County School Board is meeting to discuss changes to the district's ethics policies. This after multiple teachers have been removed from Douglas Anderson School of the Arts and other schools in the last two school years, including one just last week. Renata DiGregorio joins us live on your side at the school board headquarters live. And if they change the ethics policies, what exactly would that do? Renata? The ethics policy changes have to do with identifying, reporting, and removing any teachers who may be accused of misconduct. I spoke with parents today and they say that they're really glad the district is taking this up, but they are skeptical about whether it will actually stop any future misconduct. It rips you apart. Jessica Valerio's daughter was the vocal student of a man now serving 10 years in prison for kissing a student at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts. Last week, parents at that school were alerted of another teacher under investigation who the principal says has been reassigned to duties with no student interaction. Valerio is thinking of the students who get a new teacher after theirs is reassigned. Then you don't trust anybody anymore. And, uh, these children don't either. And then all of a sudden someone else is stuck in their classroom and they're supposed to be okay. They're supposed to be, they're supposed to trust them and they're supposed to just be okay. Reassigning employees to duties with no student contact while an investigation takes place is listed in Duval County Public Schools' revised ethics policies. It also states allegations must be reported immediately and the employee must be removed from student contact within 24 hours of being reported if they're accused of child abuse or sexual misconduct. I think they now understand that they're going to be held more accountable. Ontario Wynn's daughter goes to Douglas Anderson. Earlier this year, Duval Schools apologized to parents after a DA teacher stayed in the classroom 45 days after the district learned of his arrest. I think they need to now know to immediately address it immediately. The Duval County Public Schools Board meeting is starting now. There will be a public hearing and the board is set to vote on these policies. Reporting live in Duval County, Renata DiRegorio, First Coast News, on your side.